moving forward. Idea good as that. IT orchestration by CDW. It get who people. I mean, people who get it. Find out more at cdw.com slash Cisco. In California, hundreds of thousands of people will have their power turned off tonight. It's an effort to prevent potentially deadly wildfires. Many Californians are being told their power could be out for days, all just a precaution to prevent wildfires. Christopher Godley runs Sonoma County Emergency Management. We're going to lose cell phone towers potentially. And then in the long run, if we have a fire that starts while we're still de-energized, it's going to limit our ability to respond. But the electrical companies claim it must be done to prevent wildfires. That's ABC's Alex Stone. The fatal crashes involving two Boeing 737 MAX jets have prompted another lawsuit, this latest one from inside the airline industry. The Southwest Airlines Pilots Association is suing Boeing, alleging that the plane builder intentionally misled the union when it said the 737 MAX was essentially the same as the models it replaced, except with a longer body. After two crashes in a five-month period, the plane was grounded and Southwest was forced to cancel flights. The union says its members will lose $100 million in salary as a result. Jim Ryan, ABC News, Dallas. Thieves who stole a duffel bag from a parking garage in San Jose probably got a big surprise. Inside the bag, four pythons and a lizard valued at $5,000. The owner of the reptiles says the animals are not poisonous. This is ABC News. Starting route now. Turn right at Fortress Mountain. Turn left at Mount Hood. Head south to Moab, Utah. Continue on the Great North American Test Drive. Run with us on a John Deere Gator XUV 835. With our quietest cab ever and optional heat and AC and a four-wheel independent suspension, it's built to run where no one else can. Nothing runs like a deer. Search John Deere Gator for more. Scott Goldberg, ABC News. ABC News is brought to you by White Motor Company. Buying a vehicle, especially a used vehicle, can be a little nerve-wracking. That's why you do business with someone you can trust, who over the years has proven they take care of their customers. That's why you choose White Motor Company. They have like-new inventory, including SUVs, trucks, and a variety of passenger vehicles. And White has financing for everybody. Check out their inventory at 807 East Kearney and online at whitemotorcompanymo.com. Christian-owned and operated. Buy right with White. A fantastic fall day. Temperatures climbing to around 74 or so in Springfield. Tonight, not as cold. Low temps just under 50. And then mostly cloudy Wednesday in mid-70s. I'm KY3 First Alert Meteorologist Brandon Beck for 92.3 KICK. Weather is brought to you by Affordable Towing of Springfield. Anything is affordable when you're afoot and you need a tow. Make sure it's affordable. The views expressed on this show are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and not those of radio station KICK, Vision Communications Incorporated, its management, or advertisers. Vision Communications Incorporated is not responsible for the validity or accuracy of information presented on this program. Shut up. And sit down. Hello, everybody. This is the Downtown Tactical Radio Show. Downtown Tactical. We are a firearm, gear, equipment, and training school that is not located downtown. But we have the gear and equipment needed to make it safe for you to go downtown or anywhere in town. So find us on East Battlefield Road, right next to the Hill Restaurant and the UPS Store between Campbell and National, or anywhere from the World Wide Web. Oh, yeah. For show topics, tips, feedback, questions, or to just say hello. You know, just saying hello would be okay, too. Yeah. You can email us at yeah, radio. It is. Yeah, at radio. That's R-A-D-I-O at downtowntactical.com. Mm -hmm. You can also watch this via our streaming in-studio camera. At facebook.com forward slash downtown tactical. We have a few folks already signed on there, and uh, it's perfect because if you have questions and stuff that we're talking about or you want to add to the conversation, that's a perfect place to do it. There's only so much room in the studio. That's true. That's true. Yep. Yeah. We get too many people in here, it yep. gets hot. Yes, it does. It gets steamy. <laughs> steamy. <laughs> Moist. <laughs> so, moving along. 
Um, you know, last week we talked about the principles of self-defense. So I'm hoping that you guys took the time to, to find Colonel Cooper's book and read a little bit of it. And uh, if you haven't, you can still fix that. Uh, you can go back and watch yesterday's show, or I mean last week's so show. It feels like yesterday. Mm-hmm. Last week's show. <laughs> uh, I've probably only slept once or twice since then. <laughs> oh, that, would, that would be it. Yeah, that would be the reason. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we keep those in perpetuity, and they're on the Facebook, and they're also on the SoundCloud, so you can you can download those and, and take a look. Um, you know, the concepts that we talk about here on the show aren't only, while we, we, we really put focus on safety, security, proficiency of your firearm, training, um, the ability to respond, and how you should respond to potentially violent or aggressive encounters, um, but they the stuff we talk about doesn't only apply to those situations. Mm-hmm. Um, there are there are plenty of things that you can do for varying levels of preparedness with you and your loved ones, and you should do them. You really should. I mean, one of the shows we talked about having a plan if there was a an intruder that broke in the house, mm-hmm. right, and having a safe room. Right, having a safe room is a an important piece of the puzzle when you're um, and it doesn't have to be the whole fully locked down vault um, just a simple place that you can defend um, a a location that's large enough to put your entire family in uh, with a single area of approach that you can defend in case of uh, in case of someone breaking into your home and intending to do you harm now we're talking about actually physically protecting your family um, if they ca- if they come in and they want your big screen TV, and that's all they want, well, guess what? You should probably give it to them because you're not covered under Missouri law to engage them with a firearm. Um, that's that's how you people that's how people get themselves wrapped up when you don't know the law. If you'd come to concealed carry class last week, you'd know that. Uh, but they can apply to a number of well. Speaking of the safe room, since you really dove into that. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just kind of took a header. In the safe room, you should have phone numbers, you should have all sorts of um, pieces of information, including your address and all that kind of stuff, because you may forget those types of things. But you shouldn't only be prepared for an intruder coming into your home. What about if there's a fire? Mm-hmm. That's a, the single uh, the single greatest danger in the home is fire. Um, and that doesn't, that means it's not just because, you know, your hinky brother-in-law, uh, rewired, uh, the stove for you and you didn't double check his work. Ask Mike how he knows knows about that. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) I just rewired a dryer. Thank you very much. And it works just fine. You know, dryers, uh, I come from a background of insurance and, and dryers, man, I'll tell you what, those dryer vents where all of the lint stuff goes, it's not just cleaning the lint trap in the dryer. It, those suckers can clog and cause a fire. So those of you that do laundry at nighttime while you're sleeping, you can have a fire. But there's a number of different ways that a fire can start. That's not what today's show is about. But it's about the type of preparedness, right? So schools do fire drills with their children and the teachers and all of the faculty. When's the last time you did a fire drill? Do the children know how to exit the home in a fire drill? I mean, you know, I remember um, uh, stop, drop, and roll, mm-hmm. right? Stop, drop, and roll was one of those w- those things that fire departments put out for a long time, that if you caught on fire, stop, drop, and roll, and it would put out the fire. And and I've seen, I don't know about here locally, but I've seen in, in my travels where there's um, firehouses that are mobile that, that some fire departments use that... Um, teach children how to get out of a home in in smoke and fire yeah we actually had one at the uh, safety expo a few weeks a few oh, months ago. perfect yeah i didn't i didn't make it to the expo yeah um but i did took my kids I- if you're not getting it's to that time. you know are, are you doing those types of drills at home right like you know placing with the with the palm of or the back of your hand to feel the um the doorknob if it's hot and you know, how to put wet towels underneath the door or, or dropping down to your knees and low calling out because the oxygen is down there instead of walking through the smoke. Those types of things, you know, making sure that, that you are prepared in that and that the children 
and your wife and your husband, if it's the wife we're talking to, and, and everybody else in the home know exactly what to do, what to grab, what to worry about versus what not to worry about, and have you done a drill like that? And are you, do you have fire extinguishers in the home? Exactly. And what type of fire extinguisher do you have? Is it an ABC fire extinguisher? What do you have? How old is it? Is it still charged? When's the last time you checked it? Where are they located? Mm -hmm. <laughs> is it just under the kitchen sink? Where is it located? Um, and do you have more than one? Do you know how to, and do your children know how to, use a fire extinguisher? Um, believe it or not, a lot of people don't. You know, They don't know to spray the base of the fire in right. a sweeping motion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first thing they do is they see those large flames coming up, and they're trying to squirt them down. Yep. And that's not how fire works. Um, if any of you don't know how fire works, uh, then <laughs> go get a degree in firefighting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not I know a, enough. I know enough. <laughs> right. I'm not a firefighter. I'm not um, either. It's, it's not my background. It's not what I do. But I have training in these different pieces. And so if you don't have the training, uh, call your local fire department and ask them. I, I bet you that they would tell you. Um, when the next safety expo is, I mean, we're fortunate here in Missouri every year we have one that's that's done, but not everybody gets to get to it. So if you didn't get to something like that or you don't know, contact the local fire department and ask them. Yeah, and um, they'll be happy to uh, check out your fire extinguisher, your uh, fire alarms as well. That, that you're stealing my thunder, man. You're stealing my thunder. That's the next thing I was going to go to. So the American okay, Red fine. Cross, by the way. The American Red Cross, if you don't have fire alarms in your home, they will come out and install them for you for free so if you don't have those types of things they can help you with it um, I don't know all the particulars on that I've I've worked with the Red Cross for a number of years and and I know that they have initiatives specifically for that where they will go out and they have a goal of how many homes they want to install fire alarms into so if you don't have a fire alarm and you need a fire alarm call the American Red Cross they will get you a fire alarm um, if, if you don't know how to use a fire extinguisher, contact your local fire department. Ask them to show you how or teach you how or to check it to see if it's good. And understand, you know, what the A, the B, and the C, what, what they all mean. It's electrical fire. It's a liquids fire, an oil fire, all those different pieces. Um, and, and some of them work on some. Some of them don't work on others. Uh, those are all... Those are all important. And learn not to throw water on a grease fire. And I think the tactical dust bunny just threw up smoke alarms because maybe fire alarm isn't uh, isn't necessarily the right terminology. Okay, well. I, it's a smoke alarm. <laughs> it's detecting the presence of smoke. Well, yeah, you can tell. Thank you, you TDB. Can, you can tell if it's, t if it's uh, too hot because it, it'll be melted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, man, kitchen fires, I'll tell you what. In the insurance world, I've, I, I had a couple of homes that, that had a... Uh, grease fires and those are vicious mm -hmm. yeah. they are vicious yeah because yeah. grease fire is not usually based off of a single occurrence of the existence of grease well and, and homes it burn up so stinking fast man. oh yeah yeah you get that flame shooting up and whew, next thing you know you've got your cabinets and smoke damage all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. and yeah i can tell you for a fact that cabinetry goes up crazy quick uh, particularly the the newer fabrication stuff it can it will definitely uh, go up in smoke faster than you ever thought possible yeah yeah so um just real quick before we go to break smoke alarms american red cross can help you out with that and if you need some training with with uh, use of fire extinguishers they can help you out with that as well we're talking preparedness at least for right now We've got more for you. I hope you stick around. Join us on Facebook.com forward slash Downtown Tactical. Join in the conversation. It's already getting started up. You're missing out. We'll see you right after this. Fort Scott Munitions is a leading manufacturer of monolithic solid copper and solid brass spun projectiles designed for law enforcement, self-defense, precision shooting, and hunting applications. Precision machined and engineered to tumble upon entry into soft tissue, our match grade tumble upon impact bullets are guaranteed to hit their mark and deliver devastating terminal results. When you only get one shot, make sure yours is on the mark with Fort Scott Munitions. Get yours today at Downtown Tactical at 610 Battlefield Road, Suite B in Springfield, Missouri. 
64% of Americans drink coffee every day. Are you one of them? Does your coffee have purpose? At Got Your Six Coffee Company, we use the net profits from freshly roasted award-winning coffee sales to support first responders and veterans through a variety of nonprofits. Voted best coffee shop in Springfield, Got Your Six Coffee Company currently holds the title for best dark roast, best medium roast, and best single origin from the 2019 Springfield Coffee Festival. Stop by Downtown Tactical at 610 East Battlefield today to try coffee with purpose and help us brew better days. Hello, I'm Scott J, owner of AirServe Heating and Air Conditioning. We all know air conditioners won't always break down during banker's hours, so why use an air conditioning company that thinks it's a bank? At AirServe Heating and Air Conditioning, we are available anytime, day or night, with no after-hours charges. For $65, you'll find out exactly what's wrong with your system and what it'll take to get you comfortable again. For same-day service that won't break the bank, call 417-322-6653. For service you deserve, call AirServe Heating and Air Conditioning. I'm a planner. Meal menus, grocery lists, saving for our vacations, and especially our monthly budget. The one thing that really gets to me, unexpected expenses. And that's why we signed up for Trusted Blue Auto. A reasonable monthly membership gets me significant discounts with multiple respected local auto repair shops. Because it's not if our car will need repairs, it's when. Yep, I'm a planner and a saver. Plan ahead and save. Check out TrustedBlueAuto.com where membership makes auto repairs repair affordable. Man, I'll tell you what, the conversations we have in studio. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Good watching stuff. yeah, if you're watching online and you're wondering what we're laughing about, ask Micah when you see him about eating magnets. <laughs> Only eat one. Yeah, that was one. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good safety precaution. Uh, I want to bring up, so Gary, who is uh, is uh, watching the show via Facebook, he brought up a really good point. And I was done with this portion of the show, uh, talking about fire extinguishers, but I'm going to circle back a little bit because he brought up a really valid point that I want to make sure our, our radio listeners are hearing. Um, you know, he, he talks about having a fire extinguisher that is... Um, the weight of it, that, that it's capable of being used by all, the majority, if not all, of the members of the household, but that it shouldn't be the only extinguisher in the house. Um, you know, if you've got small children, they can't lift 20 pounds easily and, and y wield it around and do what they need to do, but you should have a 10 to 20 pound fire extinguisher in your home um, if there's somebody capable of using it and have those small ones readily accessible to help start it you know, help start putting it out right. and then have, you know, something else that you can go to. Um, phenomenal advice. And, and Gary, thanks for chiming in on that. And I wanted to make sure that we, we had that mentioned before we moved on to the next step, step of preparedness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, all I have, I have younger children. Um, and every once in a while when they're messing around, it's not so much now as it used to be, but they're going to get banged up. Okay, and that can be anything from a skinned knee to a broken bone. Okay, and that's just the nature of kids and what happens to them. And what's even more important is, uh, yes, kids are very resilient, but what if you have older people in the home? Okay, if you're if they're in the middle of cooking, have an accident, um, try to try to do one of those we'll cut the vegetables really really quick things and then figure out they can't um you need to have a plan for that um uh, so I'm thinking like tip a finger well yeah yeah, yeah definitely yeah. but um so you need to have a, a couple of different kinds of first aid readily available in the home uh the first one is going to be your boo-boo kit that's going to have your band-aids in it that's going to have your neosporin your burn cream stuff like that anesthetic yeah um some you know, uh, maybe if you know antibacterial you stuff. Antibacterial yeah. stuff. Um, the other thing should be a kit for major trauma. All right, major trauma does not happen nearly as often as the boo boo kit stuff. However, if major trauma happens, nothing in the boo boo kit is going to fix the major trauma. So, you need to have um, the uh, you need to have a tourniquet, all right? You need to have something, uh, some sort of a compression bandage, um, some sort of uh, compressed gauze um, or Curlex, something that you can use to make a 
a compression bandage uh, in case of a a deep venous bleed. Um, in in if you're involved in a situation where there may be gunfire, um, you know you definitely need to be thinking about injuries to the thorax of the body. Um, uh, Bob just Bob, one of our viewers on Facebook, um, just brought up that if you've got uh, elderly family um, that are on blood thinners, you're going to need some quick clot. You're going to need some of those uh, some of those chemical additives to uh, a traditional packing gauze uh, to keep uh, that blood loss to a minimum. Yeah, and you should note that not all tourniquets are the same, and and you should get first of all whatever kind of tourniquet you're going to go with, have training on it and mm -hmm. have practice on how to use it. Um, you know, cat tourniquets are are really, really good. They don't work on children. You, If you've got really, and, and, and it may not work on, on some adults if they've got really, really thin arms or really, really thin parts that you want to put it on. Yeah, um, cats actually work down to a four-inch circumference right. on but um, yeah, if you've got an extremely small child, right, you're going to need to have a, a different alternative for that. Yeah, so a good alternative for that would be like a TK4, mm -hmm. right? It's it's a it's a different style. Um, in fact, our Vox come with TK4s for that reason because they can go down to virtually a pencil, right? Mm -hmm. uh, it, so bef be forward thinking of that, <coughs> Boo Boo kits also. You know, we were. You know, when we're, when we're teaching, we've got our, our, our trauma-based kits when we're out at the range. But those types of needs can can spring up even even out there, right? Mm -hmm. So having having a first aid kit that is well-stocked, be mindful that things can expire in there. But having a first aid kit that is well-stocked and having it in the car and in the home, probably a good idea. Um, I carry both. I carry a, a VOC Actually, in my vehicle, I've got 12 Vox, but that's a ventilated operator kit for those that are wondering, uh, and you can get them from Tactical Response. You can get them from Downtown Tactical. Uh, they're 50 bucks, and we'll teach you how to use it as well, so there's stuff in there. But, you know, you mentioned Band-Aids, compressed gauze, um, uh, quick clot, right? Because uh, it, it may not be major trauma that you need quick clot, right? Right. It, 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 it also right. And if, it, if you're going with a quick clot, just make sure that yep. you're not using the powder. Well, and you need to make sure that uh, that you're not using something that has a shellfish base. Right. right. That's that's another thing, too. Because now, they, they have most of the manufacturer, the major manufacturers of anti -co -co of uh, coagulant right. um, gauzes and things have changed their yeah, have not changed their manufacturer in there. Um, so there's very few that still use the old shellfish serum. Um, you would have to get pretty close to the expired stuff or actually be buying expired product in order to get into something that could cause an anaphylactic reaction. I don't know, patients. man. On Amazon or eBay, you may find that well, stuff. Oh, yeah, so yeah, definitely. So just make sure that you're getting something that most of them are going to say non-bio, right? So there's no shellfish, there's no um, ingredients that could potentially cause uh, further problems like shock. <laughs> right, and if you're if you're interested in uh, purchasing uh, standalone items uh, mm -hmm. to fill out your own pre-existing medical kit, there are two places I highly recommend. Number one is the the first and foremost is thetacticalmedic.com. dot com. Mm -hmm. um, friend of mine, his name's Sean. He has a great online store. Keeps a lot of things in stock. Um, you can usually uh, equip up there. The other one, other, another good. Uh, alternative is the skinny medic dot com. Mm -hmm. um, he also sells uh, pre-made uh, trauma kits as well as first first aid kits and the supplies to fill them. So those are two good places where you can uh, buy medical equipment and have it delivered in a rapid uh, rapid fashion. Yep. And if you if you need some quick clot and stuff like that, and you happen to be in the Springfield area, come by the shop. We've yep. got some down there. We've got I don't some. I don't have band-aids. Sorry. Not going to be able to help you there. But we've got the ventilated operator kits. You know who does have band-aids? Uh, like Walgreens or CVS. 
Walgreens has band-aids? Yeah. I wouldn't go to Walmart crazy. to buy them. They're anti-Second Amendment. Yeah. I haven't, <laughs> bought, I haven't bought anything at Walmart <laughs> since they changed their policy, so. Yep, yep. Uh, but Aldi's. Aldi's is great. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but having having that level of preparedness, it, it it can really really help, and so that's why you know we're we're talking about these things that you may not have thought about, like where to get a fire uh, smoke alarm, where to you know what type of fire extinguishers to have. All of those types of things can really change the outcome, and it takes very little of your part, but having the forward thinking to prepare for those types of situations, and then training for them. You know, you can make fire drills fun. Yeah, fire drills are going to be great. Yep, and I don't mean the Chinese fire drills. Well, not, I'm not don't in high school that. anymore. <laughs> yeah, don't don't be don't be. I know I'm throwing a joke. Don't, <laughs> it's probably a bad joke. People are probably like, "Really, Graham?" Um, if I see any of you dudes running around in traffic, I won't be mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so having having some preparedness, especially before going on a road trip. You know, we've got holidays coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think people do a lot of traveling for Halloween. Uh, some people do maybe trying to go to different parties, but if you're going for, for Thanksgiving and you're going for, uh, Christmas and New Year's, um, that's why we're talking about this now. You have time. Go out and, and get those plans. Put something in your car. Put something in your house. If you're going to have a big dinner and especially if you're frying up a turkey for Thanksgiving, have some of those fire extinguishers. Mm -hmm. Uh, I've never had one of those fires, but I know people who have. (laughs) Yeah, if if it's your first year and you're thinking about deep deep frying your turkey, um, say, you know. Dry it out really good. Dry it out really good and make sure that you don't fill the thing with oil before you stick the turkey in the fryer. Okay, that's how you burn down your house. Well, Just some of them, I, I mean, I don't, I heat the oil up before I put the turkey in, but they have a little line on there that tells you where to fill it to. <laughs> Pay attention yeah, to look that. At, look at that thing. It's <laughs> and, there and, for a and reason. And be mindful of the size of the turkey that line is for. <laughs> don't be a turkey. We'll be back right after this. Thanks for listening. Hugh Hewitt on the next Hugh Hewitt Show. What should the Senate be doing as Congressman Kramer from Seinfeld, otherwise known as Adam Schiff, makes a fool out of himself? What should the Senate be doing? Because I think they ought to have a select committee on Russiagate, just like the Senate had a select committee on Watergate in 1973, a year before impeachment. I'll talk to Senator Rick Scott of Florida. Hugh Hewitt, weekday mornings from 5 to 7, 92.3 KICK. The White House is pushing back on the House Democrats' impeachment inquiry, telling Speaker Nancy Pelosi in a letter they flat out will not participate. The letter comes hours after President Trump blocked a U.S. diplomat from testifying about his dealings with Ukraine, the center of a whistleblower complaint which says the president repeatedly pressed Ukraine's leader to investigate the family of political rival Joe Biden. The U.S. Supreme Court heard oral arguments earlier today over whether the Civil Rights Act protects gay and transgender Americans from employment discrimination. These are some of the most divisive issues in our country, right? Like A lot of conservatives feel that this is part of what they think of as a culture war out to change their understanding of America for a lot of people, especially young people. This is the future. This is the way life is going to be. ABC's Terry Moran. Pacific Gas and Electric says it's going to shut off power to more than 800,000 customers in 34 counties in California to reduce the risk of wildfire amid dry and windy conditions. Daria Albinger, ABC News. When you're a foot and you need a toe, affordable is the name to know. When you're stuck in the mud or stuck in the snow, we're affordable. Affordable towing. From expensive imports to heavy duty tows, we'll get there quick, we're never slow. Anytime your car or truck won't go, we're affordable. Affordable towing. With affordable towing, anything is affordable. When you're a foot and you need a toe, make sure it's affordable. A fantastic fall day. Temperatures climbing to around 74 or so in Springfield. Tonight, not as cold. Low temps just under 50. And then mostly cloudy Wednesday in mid 70s. I'm KY3 First Alert Meteorologist Brandon Beck for 92.3 KICK. Weather brought to you by AirServe Heating and Air Conditioning, keeping the air in which we live and breathe comfortable and clean. 
find them online at airserve.com forward slash Springfield. Fort Scott Munitions is a leading manufacturer of monolithic solid copper and solid brass spun projectiles designed for law enforcement, self-defense, precision shooting, and hunting applications. Precision machined and engineered to tumble upon entry into soft tissue, our match grade tumble upon impact bullets are guaranteed to hit their mark and deliver devastating terminal results. When you only get one shot, make sure yours is on the mark with Fort Scott Munitions. Get yours today at Downtown Tactical at 610 Battlefield Road, Suite B in Springfield, Missouri. Chicago Cheesesteak Company Southside has hot, fresh, made-to-order food that can be delivered to your home or office for only a dollar. You can get the Chicago-style cheesesteak, the dipped Italian beef, and let's not forget the hand-cut fries. Get a taste of the heart of Chicago at Chicago Cheesesteak Company Southside, located on Battlefield Road in the Food for Less Shopping Center. Now offering catering. Visit ChicagoCheesesteak.com for details. Baby in Chicago, get yourself something to eat. Reserve your stay at the Hampton Inn, Kansas City, Overland Park. Convenient to all Kansas City area shopping and attractions. Enjoy free breakfast, free Wi-Fi, free parking, pool, hot tub, and fitness center. Contemporary guest rooms with flat panel TVs, comfy beds, and work areas. All the rooms have been recently renovated to bring them up to the most modern standards. Located in Overland Park at 105th and Metcalf. Book your room today. Google Hampton Inn, Kansas City, Overland Park. The Pella windows and doors in my home are a reflection of my style. They provide great views, comfort, and beauty for my family. My Pella windows and doors are also a reflection of... Me. I'm Mike, and I'm the owner of Pella Windows and Doors of Springfield. Pella has recently been ranked by homeowners as number one for innovation and number one for highest quality, backed by the industry's strongest warranties. Visit our newly renovated store at 448 West Battlefield and see how Pella has a solution for your home. Adopt U.S. Kids presents What to Expect When You're Expecting A Teenager Learning the Lingo Hundo P. Hundo P. Adjective. Short for being 100% sure or certain. As in, if we get a puppy, I'll Hundo P. always walk it. You don't have to speak teen to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Visit AdoptUSKids.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt U.S. Kids, and the Ad Council. All right, welcome back. Welcome back. We didn't talk about magnets or eating magnets or anything. This one, this this break wasn't even that funny. Yeah, it was th- this it break was kind of a letdown. <laughs> 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 Thanks, guys, for for listening to us. Um, I want to talk real real quick about the beans and bullets reloaded. So this uh, this event is is really man. It's going to be so much bigger than it was last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got a phenomenal facility. It's huge. Yes, huge. Uh, it's going to be on television. It's got a national uh, uh, production agency that's coming out that is 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 featuring us on uh, the Brotherhood of Brew. Uh, I wish Eric was online right now. I don't I don't see he's listening watching, but maybe he's listening on the radio. But Brotherhood and Brew is is we're going to be doing the action portion. This uh this event is where every single year we do this. This is the second year. So the brotherhood, the uh, the event is to really say thank you to the men and women that don a uniform of service, um, and th- that's really the very first bullet point. That's what we're we're looking to do, mm-hmm. uh, veterans and first responders. Um, the n- the next point is that we um, are providing high caliber training and equipment that they can take back and utilize in their communities. So if they're uh, a smaller department and it happens to be a a first responder that takes the course, then we're giving them tools, equipment, and training that that they can take back and and make their force better, thereby helping their community, Mm -hmm. right? And lastly, we honor the life of a veteran. And and this one is really special. We had the family on a couple of shows ago, and, uh, you know, he he was stationed in in South Korea. Um, he was a a pilot for fixed and rotary, and believe it or not, the youngest pilot in the army at the time of death. Uh, he didn't die That's due to combat service. He died in a, a motorcycle accident. Uh, completely completely heart wrenching story. Phenomenal uh, what the family is doing, and I guess he had a heart for veterans, and they were 
doing things every single year, and the family has continued that um, every single year to commemorate him and, and his life. They, they do stuff, and that's how they found Got Your Six Coffee Company and became part of the Beans and Bullets Reloaded. Um, so the family will be out there, and, and we'll be really putting a tribute forward to them. Uh, what are they going to be doing? Well, we're going to have 30 veterans and first responders that will be going through the tactical rifle training taught by Micah and myself. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a closed event. Uh, it is going to be on a television series. It's going to be an episode. And um, we've got some pretty big sponsors that are involved, but we need more. And uh, I don't know if it's for public yet, which sponsors are on and which aren't, because I know that we want to be do a big, waha, here they are, mm -hmm. type thing. Um, but it takes m it takes a village to put on something like this. And so we need individuals and small companies and big companies to be a part of this. So if you know somebody who would like to be a part of what we are doing, um, maybe you work at a Home Depot or Lowe's or you know, a Meeks or somewhere and, and you can potentially talk to your manager or district manager or whatever to be involved. Those are, that's what we're looking for. Uh, we need companies to be involved. There is a nonprofit involved. So some of those companies have to have a nonprofit to be able to, to contribute and be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Restore America Club, which is a 501c3 nonprofit entity, is involved in this and you can make donations through them. And uh, it will get to what we are trying to do. So we're looking for, you know, vehicle dealerships. We're looking for big companies that can throw dollars and swag and, and stuff to really help this be a big event. We're also looking for volunteers. Um, we need help with parking. We need help with, with food. We need help with um, shuffling people point A to point B with you know, patrons saying this is where the line is and this is where you go. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of little things involved in this. Mm -hmm. And so maybe, you know, there's a recruiting station out there and, and uh, they want to have the men and women of the National Guard or the Navy or the Air Force or Marine Corps or whatever come out and be a part of it. We would love to have your help. They do volunteer every single year. They volunteer so many hours. Yep. Um, maybe you've got a, a Boy Scout or a Girl Scout troop that wants to be involved in something like this. We would love to have you involved. Um, there are so many different pieces that it would, it's easier for us to just say, please, 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 if you want to be involved in any way, email us. And you can do that at info, I-N-F-O, at Got Your Six Coffee, all spelled out in words, no numbers, right? GotYourSixCoffee.com. So info at GotYourSixCoffee.com. We are still looking for nominations. Uh, for the 30 veterans and first responders, uh, w who they are and why you think they should be nominated. Um, we're still looking for those. I don't know how many Eric has, but I know that he, he's still looking for more. Uh, we're still looking for volunteers. We're still looking for um, all sorts of, of, of different companies to be involved on so many different levels. Yeah, it's going to be a terrific... Uh, it's going to be a terrific event. We've already got a, a really nice, um, incredible venue um, that is actually preparing a special location just for us to be able to uh, teach the rifle class there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a good time. We're going to have an excellent weekend. Um, of training and um, fellowship, sharing uh, with uh, like-minded people. Um, so I am looking forward to Beans and Bullets Reloaded. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we need, I mean, we need ammunition manufacturers that can potentially donate the ammo. We need, I mean, that we're each one of these students are going to be shooting 2,000 rounds of rifle and 500 rounds of pistol. Um, so we need ammunition we need weapon cleaning kits. Uh, come on, breakthrough. <laughs> Break clean, come on. We uh, we need breakthrough. <laughs> come on, breakthrough. Uh, did I mention breakthrough? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> breakthrough clean. <laughs> I love their stuff. Man. Yeah, I'm, it I'm is. It's good. good um, stuff. You know, we need, uh, it'd be nice if we had a, a firearms manufacturer that would donate the rifles and the pistols to be used, but um, we may or may not get that. But 
all of the different pieces that are involved in this, from knee pads to, you know, sunglasses to hats to gloves to, you know, gear and equipment, all of these different pieces, those are all needs. And we need that either from the company to donate them or we need the money to be able to buy them, right? And mm -hmm. we will get there, but only with your help. It really does take a village. So we're hoping that somebody out there is listening and uh, says, hey, you know what? I don't have money, but I have time. Great. We could use that. Or somebody says, well, I don't have time, but I have money. Great. We could use that, too. We need it all. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's going to be a really awesome event. And, and it, as I mentioned, it's going to be aired um, in a episode. At, they're on Amazon Prime. And if you're not watching them, you should. It's Brotherhood and Brew. Mm -hmm. Or Brotherhood of Brew. One of the two. I'm, I'm having a mental moment. Uh, but it's an awesome, awesome thing that they're doing and, and what we're doing, and, and we'd love to have you a part of it. Yep. We're l definitely looking forward to it. It's going to be a tremendous weekend. Um, it's it's going to be uh, a whole lot of, of learning, I think. It's definitely going to be a whole lot of, of teaching. Um, we're we're going to be putting down good stuff uh, for people that need it to pick it back up and take it with them yeah so we are i'm definitely looking forward to to the beans and bullets reloaded yeah. it's gonna be it's, a it's gonna good, be fun good time and uh that moves us into development yep. of skills and abilities yeah yeah if the, if you're if you're even thinking that hey you know what these guys are talking about stuff i haven't heard them talk about before like the uh, the first aid kits and the fire and well do you know how to run something like that? If you don't, find out. And if it's if it's not from us, you need to find out from somewhere. You need to go take go take a stop the bleed class. Mm -hmm. You know, go down to uh, go spend a day at the uh, Red Cross and learn CPR. You know, if you uh, if you're a new parent, you were supposed to have learned that before you took the kids out of the hospital. All right. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think that might be a regionality thing. I it might be. I mean, it I had be. it from the military, but nobody by no, any no, no. You have to learn. You it. have to learn infant CPR to take your kid out of the hospital here. Wow, that's a regionality. Could be. Yeah, but it works. It <laughs> I've never, works for me. Our our producers sit there going, "I didn't have. To, I didn't know anything about that." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, everything that you. If you're thinking, if you're sitting here thinking about, well, I don't know anything about that. It's like, I just bought this car and I don't know how to change a tire. Um, that is a skill you need to develop right now. That is an ability that you need to have. You need to go out in your driveway right now, or not when well, you have not right now. They're listening to okay, us. Okay, well, when you're <laughs> when we're done with the show, go out in your driveway, get your owner's manual out. Find out how to change a tire and do it with the stuff that's on the car. <laughs> okay, um, it's it's real easy if you get your racing jack out there and your uh, pneumatics. And <laughs> but uh, w it's going to be difficult if you're in eight inches of snow on the side of the road. Prepare yourself for that. Speaking of eight inches of snow on the side of the road, do you have a blanket in your car right now? Uh, and water, you know, water. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have some water, some gallons of water, some bottles of water. Absolutely. Uh, just just kind of make a plan. You know, we're, we're, we're giving you some ideas, but they aren't in, they aren't in totality, right? Have some, have a plan. Yeah, this is not, the, we're giving you some short items off of a list, not the whole kit and, cab kit and caboodle of everything that could ever happen. Yeah. Apply it to your situation and take it to heart. Your responsibility to be prepared and ready for the fight never ends. That's right. That's a little bit different than how James says it. Your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends. It Lord Baden-Powell said, be <laughs> prepared. Yep. This leading manufacturer of monolithic solid copper and solid brass spun projectiles designed for law enforcement, self-defense, precision shooting, and hunting applications. Precision machined and engineered to tumble upon entry into soft tissue, our match grade tumble upon impact bullets are guaranteed to hit their mark and deliver devastating terminal results. 
When you only get one shot, make sure yours is on the mark with Fort Scott Munitions. Get yours today at Downtown Tactical at 610 Battlefield Road, Suite B in Springfield, Missouri. What makes fall such a beautiful season? Is it the crisp air or the turning leaves? Or is it the roaring, banger, slamming action of late model dirt track racing? Decide for yourself at the 6th Annual Lucas Oil MLRA Fall Nationals at Lucas Oil Speedway in Wheatland, Missouri. Bring the whole family in. Get cozy around the big dirt oval for some hot racing action. It all happens October 11th and 12th. And it's only at Lucas Oil Speedway. For tickets and info, visit lucasoilspeedway.com. It's a short drive to putter around 6,435 beautiful manicured yards for a day of fun. I'm not talking gardening. I'm talking golf. Great Life Golf in Lebanon, formerly Lebanon Country Club, is waiting for you to tee it high and let it fly. If you're looking for a new golf course to conquer, head one hour east of Springfield to Lebanon. The course is just two miles west of Lebanon, Missouri. Ready? Great Life Golf of Lebanon. Online at LebanonMissouriGolf.com. Are you hiring? With Indeed, you can post a job in minutes, set up screener questions, then zero in on qualified candidates in an online dashboard. Get started at Indeed.com slash hire. The T.J. Martle Foundation Music's Promise for a Cure. To learn more, visit tjmartle.org. That's tjmartle.org. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation invites you to take steps for cures at a walk event near you. Get started at cctakesteps.org. Hello, Springfield. It's Tom Sullivan inviting you to join me for the intelligent conversation we have every weekday from 5 to 8 p.m. on The Tom Sullivan Show. Fans of my show say it's like they're hanging out with a friend they've known for years. Join me for a unique view of world events featuring insights and conversations on the hot news and trending issues of the day. Make The Tom Sullivan Show your evening companion weekdays 5 to 8 p.m. right here on KICK 1340 AM and 92.3 FM. This is a better break. <laughs> yep, much better break. Uh, hey, Tim said, take the pen away. Quit, quit banging the pen. <laughs> <laughs> Come here and take my pen. <laughs> Molo and Labe, Tim. <laughs> Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike has got this habit with things are in his hand, and he's trying to make a point. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tim. I already mentioned that. Um, so, yeah, having a plan, being prepared. Right. It's obviously you're not going to be the expert or the professional in every aspect and component of things that can happen in your life. We get that. But you can be kind of a jack of all trades. You can mm -hmm. be prepared for statistically the things that could happen. You mentioned you mentioned like being able to change a tire. That doesn't only help you, but it allows you to be a good Samaritan, a good patron, uh, you know, that's going down the road with others. Mm hmm. There may be somebody on the side of the road that doesn't know how to do it, and you can take the time to pull over and help them, right? right? Obviously, if it's safe and you're not alone and you're not, you know, in a bad situation. But these are things that can help you so that you are better prepared. You know, I, I, we mentioned water and a blanket in the car, especially during these colder years or colder months, mm -hmm. right, as things are happening. Because you can have a vehicle disablement that prevents you from being able to run your vehicle, and they get cold really fast. Yes, they do. I, I, I've been there. Ask me how I know. Um, they get cold really fast. And so if you're on the side of the road, and I mean, it could be something as simple as you ran out of gas and you didn't realize that you were going to run out of gas, or you have something happen um, that causes you not to be able to run the vehicle um, for whatever reason. And it could ju just be that it stopped working. Um, side of the road i mean you may be in a blizzard and it's not safe to make it keep running because all that carbon monoxide is going to go back inside the the vehicle yep mm -hmm. that happens yep that's a real thing so have a good thick blanket but also have a medical blanket right a shock blanket yeah right mylar mylar blanket um uh, particularly in the in the case of extreme blood loss as soon as your body starts losing blood uh, the pH of your blood begins to become higher and can cause uh, a shock or and it's a it's a cycle it's a cycle you lose blood 
you start to go into shock, your blood pH goes higher, you lose blood. And so keeping a patient warm um, after they have lost some blood can be critical to treating shock. Um, so please um, and keep not, these things in mind. Uh, and they cost like, what, two two bucks, five yeah, bucks, they're not little expensive mylar. And, and they're not hard to pack. They just come in little squares, right, or rectangles. They're not, they're not very big, mm-hmm. but they, they unfold and you can put them over. Those are good things to have. A good, a good thick blanket, some water. I mean, my pickup truck is a little bit harder to carry water in than when I had a, when I had a car, right? Because if there's somebody in the back seat and you've got this big thing of water, you've got to keep moving around. But if you've got a trunk, it's really easy to throw a 24 pack of water in there. If you got an SUV, <laughs> right? Particularly if you're and tra- if you tra- used to training people outside in weather at the range, and you pack around like two cases all the time, right? <laughs> uh, I keep I keep a gallon of water in in my vehicle because that's the easier thing for me. It doesn't have a big footprint like the other stuff. Um, but you know, having a gallon of water, a blanket, and you know, an emergency blanket to go with it, that's a pretty good start, along with a first aid kit and and that kind of stuff. And it doesn't take a whole lot of room. Uh, somebody posted something on our, on, on our Facebook at one point, or maybe they sent it to us as a message, and it says, here's how I organize my trunk. And it was just a little organizer, and it had all these things in there, and it, it's phenomenal. You can get a nice little organizer. It doesn't have to be one of those, I'm using air quotations, trunk organizers. Mm-hmm. It can be simply a box that you put stuff in. I mean, get as creative or, or not creative as you would like. Yeah, as basic or as advanced <laughs> as you want to go. Um but have a level of preparedness. And and if there's things that you don't know, like you're getting ready to do a road trip or something, um, you know, go to a mechanic, have your vehicle checked out, make sure the belts are good and all that other stuff. Yeah, it's it's practical planning. Um, it's not, you know, we're not telling you to, you know, if you're going to Kansas City that you need to prep your truck for off-road and bring snow tires. And no, but it's a good idea to have... Uh, a general basis you need to make sure that your oil has been changed um if it needs to be changed you need to make sure it's topped up if it's been changed within a reasonable amount of time um check your spares have a plan okay if you break down on the side of the road what are you going to do do you have a flare right so do you have an emergency light this is these are basic things and and that's the premise of today's show Uh, preparedness take you know life gets so so busy and and each one of us has a million things going on at any given time but take a moment take the blinders off and just go what can go wrong what am i prepared for if it does go wrong and try to think outside the box a little bit so that you can have a plan you know when nobody plans on having their house catch fire on christmas but it happens nobody plans on having a turkey fire nobody plans on having a, a dryer vent fire Nobody plans on cutting themselves or having boo-boos or their kids falling out and, you know, all these different things. Nobody ha- plans for those things, but you can plan for the event that it does happen. And it doesn't take a lot of effort and it doesn't take a lot of money. Um, obviously, if you're going to go through some weapons training and all that, kind of, that's going to cost more. But just be prepared and start working towards that preparedness. Have a plan. Make sure your family has a plan, especially if you're the protector of the family. Right, you're the one that is caring for most, and this is your role in the family dynamic. Have a plan for it, and and write it down and practice it. Mm-hmm. Right, and make sure that. I mean, think about this for a moment. If you're the one that's always driving, and you're the one that puts all these things in the car, and you don't tell anybody that it's in the car, and you get into an accident and you're unconscious, do they know that you have those things? So don't keep the plan to yourself. Right. Make sure that everybody knows this is where the stuff is. This is, and and nobody wants that to happen. And I hope that you never ever have to use these plans, but it will benefit and potentially save a life simply by having the plan and making sure that the participants in that plan are aware of it. Right, where it is and how they can get to it and what to do. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you have all of the James Bond gadgetry and nobody else knows how to use it. Um, or where it is, or how to access it quickly, or or, or how you have it organized, um, you have to communicate these things to the other people in your life. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and they may not be as interested in it as you are. Mm-hmm. And so, 
you've got to just say, hey, just take a moment. I want you to see what's in this first aid kit. Hey, take a moment. I want you to see that this is where the water is. And, like, take that and make it a serious moment. Hey, here's where all the fire extinguishers are, and here's where the big one is, right, if that's, right. If that's what it is. But have that plan and take it serious. It won't take a whole lot of time. It doesn't take a whole lot of money, um, but it can save you. Price, it's priceless. It well, can yeah, save and it you. Can, not only can it not only can it save you uh, money as far as uh, the physical damage that can be done to your property through an accident, but what's your life worth? What's your uh, you know what's your your wife or your husband's life worth? What's your kid's life worth? Yeah. Um, and if you can take a few moments um, and equip your place for what you need, what you may need in an emergency, why not do it? There's no reason not to. Yeah. It's like Wilford Brumley used to say, you check your blood sugar and you check it often. There's just no reason not to. And guys, if you, if you and I don't just mean guys as in males, but all y'all listeners, <laughs> if you have questions on where to find information to put in these kits or where to find information on on emergency preparedness we would love to help you I, I don't have enough time in the show to be able to tell you all the different places to look but you can email us at radio at downtown com. there's all sorts of information out there from government websites that we can gladly share with you uh, we'd love to hear your ideas too if you've got some some really good ones that you've you've come up with we want to hear them and so email us radio at downtown com, and we'll we'll share those suckers out so downtown tactical we are a local firearm gear equipment and training school that is not located downtown but we have the gear and equipment needed to make it safe for you to go downtown or anywhere in town find us on east battlefield road in springfield missouri right next to the uh, hill restaurant and the ups store or visit us online at downtown tactical.com for show topics tips feedback email us at radio at downtown tactical.com and uh we hope to see you at fighting or excuse me tactical pistol this weekend Tactical Pistol. Tactical Pistol. It's going to be a good time. That's what's happening. So, I'm Graham Hunt. I'm Micah Mays. And this was your show today, Downtown Tactical Radio Show on 92.3 KICK. K -I -C -K.